Hi everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot. I apologize for the late daily message, but I did take my girls to a corn maze this afternoon for the holiday Monday here. So, with that being said, let's see what kind of a message needs to be delivered today for October the 11th. Keep in mind, timing and energy is fluid. Not every reading is going to be for you, so please do only take the messages that resonate and leave behind the rest. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already joined the channel. So let's see what needs to come through today for the collective. I'm gonna start off using the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. We'll see what messages need to come through with this deck first. I'm pretty sure that looked like a loyal heart, but uh, we'll have to take a peek here in a second, guys. Let's see what needs to come through today. Bottom of the deck, co-create. This is really beautiful energy. I feel the beginning stages of stepping into a new experience, really tapping into your higher wisdom, really finding the strength to go full steam ahead like the cheetah, and I feel like this, this birthing energy with the egg, and I feel you might be feeling like you're walking a fine line at the moment when it comes to this co-creative journey, but I think a lot of balance being restored in the energies today. Yeah, I knew it. I saw it. There is a loyal heart on the table today. So I think get ready perhaps for something to come back around. Wow. And we have the tribe. So this is definitely linked to a soul family, a deep loyal hearted connection, a deep soulmate connection. I feel um, a lot of royalty in the energy uh, with this loyal heart. And I feel once again, it kind of looks like they're sitting on this egg. So I feel like the very beginning stages of opening up the heart into a new co-creative experience. And I think calling in a tribe, another energy of eight. So get ready because I think something's coming back around in the energies today. Let's see what else needs to come through. What else can you tell me about these energies today? Friends and colleagues, tribe energy, and I do believe this loyal heart is going to be true love. So I think there's a lot of mirror reflection in the energies today. Red is all about romance, heart-centered energy, and I feel, you know, true love truly does start internally. So I feel a feminine here that's really stepped into true love. I feel maybe somebody here is wanting to play it safe because maybe they've been hurt before. But I think get ready for a, a romantic offer. Somebody coming forward with pure intentions. And I think get ready because you might be coming together with some new colleagues and friends when it comes to this connection. Bottom of the deck loss. So maybe there is a need to release something in order for this new energy to come in. So maybe emotions are very heavy. I feel somebody is kind of worried maybe that their ships are sailing away without them. And this does look like a masculine on the card. So let's see what else needs to come through when it comes to this message. What else can you tell me? We got Angel of Love flipped out in reverse with appreciation. Oh my goodness. Third eye in reverse and crown chakra upright. So I feel this energy of somebody receiving the higher guidance in which direction they're needing to go in, but I feel kind of not wanting to see the truth or there's been skewed visions when it comes to moving forward. And maybe that's why somebody's been playing it safe here. I think maybe in the past somebody wasn't appreciated and, you know, and was quite likely in a false connection. And I feel it's time to kind of bring love back into the situation. Um, the appreciation card for me is kind of like that Empress energy. So maybe there was a major lesson that needed to be learned when it comes to self-value, self-respect. And I think, yeah, there is a lot of energies balancing out today when it does come to caring connections and a happy family. That's my Ten of Cups card. So I do feel a soulmate connection on the on the board today. And I feel there's a man here holding a heart, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And he hasn't quite given his heart away yet. But he's looking at somebody and, and he knows it's kind of time to bring something full full fruition. I think get ready for an unexpected reach out, an unexpected meeting. 
and I think this is going to come in like a tower. But I do feel um, this really is going to balance out a lot of energies when it comes to a happy home life, especially with the yin and the yang. That to me is the perfect balance between masculine and feminine. So I do feel this is going to be a very balanced, open-hearted connection. So let's see what else needs to come through when it comes with the tarot in this message today. Um, all right, two of wands just flipped out queen of wands i feel somebody is at the crossroads i feel somebody kind of has you know made a decision but hasn't quite made that first step towards this queen of wands energy and i do feel this is in regards to closing out a cycle i think maybe there's been a lot of um a lot of regret when it comes to the past. I feel this lack of truth when it comes to, you know, if you notice on the card, he's got all these swords coming at him and then this, um, this light coming out of his mouth. So I feel somebody really has been pushed by spirit and all kinds of other energies to come forward and speak some truth because there is going to be a brand new beginning here, a gift from the universe. I think somebody's really needing to put in the work and I do feel somebody's kind of getting ready to come forward and fight for this loyal connection. I feel somebody's going to do whatever it takes to bring harmony back into the situation. So let's keep going and see what else needs to come through. Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups. <sighs> That's feeling pretty heavy. Princess of Swords, Page of Swords. Let me get a couple of these cards out of the way. Okay, let's see what else needs to come through. So the central energy, really, we have the Five of Cups, which is grieving over third-party energy. And I feel in this Five of Cups, all the cups are, fill, are spilled over. So there's not only a lost connection with a loyal heart, but I feel wherever they were at in this third-party energy, the party's over. There's no more fun here. I think somebody's been in prolonged grieving, feeling very left out, very isolated. I feel it's very dark energy when it comes to somebody closing out a very painful cycle. Tens are endings, tens are cycles, and then we do have the death. So I do feel profound change within the energy, shedding of the old, bringing the new. This is the ending of something, and with all endings come new beginnings. So I do feel there is a masculine that is experiencing profound transformation in the energies today, especially when it comes to some prolonged grieving. I feel there is the, the final death of a situation, especially with the Ten of Swords, and I do feel somebody's kind of walking away. If there has been a lot of overindulgences, I do feel there's a masculine here getting ready to say no more. There's six cups upright and two cups spilled. So to me, somebody's walking away from a toxic connection. There's no more harmony. There's no more fun here. And I feel walking right towards a reconciliation with somebody from the past with the six cups upright. Perhaps somebody where there was blocked communication. And I do feel an emperor here, an Aries, doesn't have to be, or a Scorpio, that is going through a profound transformation in the energies when it comes to learning a lesson. We do have the queen of cups upright with the six of swords. So we have a couple of queens on the board. There is two female energies on the board. And I do feel um, there is going to be a new offer on the table. The princess of pentacles. The princess of swords. Fresh new energy pages. So there could be children involved in this situation. Pages represent children. But I also feel a brand new beginning here. Especially one that's going to be built through the heart with the flower on the card. Um, flowers to me always indicate romance. And I do feel somebody's kind of been maybe watching somebody from behind the scenes. And this uh, Princess of Swords, she looks pretty stern. So maybe somebody isn't quite liking what they see. But I feel somebody here very well could be at the crossroads. When it comes to a fire sign energy, Aries Leo Sage, a Queen of Wands. And maybe somebody got tempted by the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands really is a fiery, passionate woman and um, can be can be quite seductive and um, attractive. So I do feel 
there was third party energy here at some point in time and i do feel it did come between um wish fulfillment when it comes to a soulmate connection three and nine and the difference is six so i do feel there's been something hidden below the surface i do think there's been a lot of toxicities and i think somebody can't really hide um this energy anymore i think somebody's getting ready to break the chains when it comes to this devil energy, so you could be dealing with Pisces or a Capricorn, but I do feel this reconciliation energy, and I think get ready to receive a message when it comes to somebody closing out a cycle with a fire sign. I do feel this Queen of Cups energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, really has chosen to leave the, the struggles behind. I think somebody here wanted to win at all costs, and this Queen of Cups, I feel, really dived into self-love, true love of self, has healed from this lack of love, this lack of appreciation, and I feel has really made peace with the past, and I feel this is in turn bringing in a brand new beginning, a brand new offer. So tell me more about this Queen of Wands, please. What can you tell me about this Queen of Wands? Ace of Wands, the Tower, <laughs> Two of Pentacles, the Star. So I do feel um, somebody did kind of get lured in by some temptation by this, by this Queen of Wands. I feel there was a lot of passion, there was a lot of fire, but I also feel this inconsistency with the energies, and I feel there is going to be a tower. I think this passionate energy really did create a false sense of security, and I feel somebody's really been juggling, really needing to step into this healing, and I feel this is a faded event. I feel get ready for a false foundation to crumble. I think this is going to come in very, very fast in order to get somebody on the pathway of healing, and the tower does come immediate, or the tower and the star do come back to back. So this tower was was much needed in order to get somebody to break free from that toxicity. And I do feel, once again, that third-party energy. I feel somebody here is in deep disillusionment. Somebody was confused, and I feel they're being haunted by the past and really being taken to their knees to kind of make amends um, with, with the universe when it comes to a false foundation. I do feel the ending of a false foundation here, and somebody is really needing to learn the lesson at hand. I do feel a lot of expansion and illumination in the energies, and this truly is a blessing in disguise is what I feel. So tell me more about this Queen of Cups, please. Eight of Swords, the Hierophant, Prince of Cups, Five of Swords. There's definitely an apology in order here. Could be from another water sign, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Taurus. But I do feel somebody has been all trapped up in their head in a false um, prison of their own making, looping around, I think, really kind of being taken down when it comes to manipulative energy in the past. And I do feel um, somebody's watching. I feel there's a masculine watching behind the scenes, a Scorpio or a Cancer, strong, strong Scorpio energy. And I do feel a lot of karmic energy with the snake kind of around uh, the rod and I do feel this light bulb moment in the energies when it comes to this past deception when it comes to really being trapped up knowing that it's time to kind of come forward with an apology I do see an apology here and I kind of feel like somebody's laser focused on this queen of cups energy really wanting that higher level of commitment and maybe not sure how to approach it but we do have the three of wands now on the bottom of the deck so two is making the decision Three is taking that step forward. So I think get ready because somebody is is preparing to get ready to take that step forward to offer that uh, the apology, that heartfelt communication because I do think somebody's looking at this Queen of Cups as their wish fulfillment. And I do think this Queen of Cups really is standing in a lot of authenticity. If you notice how she's kind of naked on the card. And um, there's nothing more authentic than somebody really putting themselves out there and being vulnerable. I do think in the past, there was heartbreak here. I think there was a lot of deception in the energies. And I do feel the time is now to heal any past betrayals when it comes to this broken heart. And I feel potential to balance out the scales and the energies with the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, or the Ten of Pentacles, pardon me. If somebody's willing to kind of release their grip, to really open up. I feel somebody's really been withholding a lot of truth 
and repeating negative patterns. And I feel there is a masculine here ready to bring balance back into the situation. This Nine of Wands is fascinating to me. So we have the lion behind, which I feel is like a lot of spiritual protection. And there's five wands. Five is struggle, internal change. And then we have the four of wands in front of him. So somebody sees clearly a solid foundation, a loyal heart that he's wanting to go towards. And this is a strong masculine energy and I'm feeling Leo. And if you notice, somebody did get in a karmic entanglement and there was a karmic energy that come between a solid foundation, a loyal heart, and perhaps even a tribe. And I do feel something crumbling below the surface and a king of cups energy getting ready to close out a worldly karmic cycle, finally getting ready to learn the lesson and to come forward with that truth and that knowledge and that communication to restore a sense of balance when it comes to past lies, deceptions, and betrayal. And I feel somebody's been hiding in the shadows, hiding behind a, a curtain. And I feel all the swords have been laid out on the table. And the time is now to kind of heal that hurt. All three hearts stabbed in that rose. So to me, roses signify unconditional love. And I do feel somebody had to go into some self-healing. And I feel this energy of visions being shown as to how to create balance within this situation. There is going to be a new opportunity for love in the energies. And I feel this King of Cups energy lacked lacked the focus to kind of really open up his heart. The King of Cups sometimes can be very um, emotionally detached, but I kind of feel this King of Cups really has his eye on somebody, Cancer energy, and we do have a true pair on the board, and this is a lot, a lot of love here, but I feel in the past, this masculine turned his back on this queen, and she was kind of left in shambles to kind of pick up the pieces, and I feel wherever this masculine went, there's no more growth there, and justice is playing out in the energies. Once again, that laser focus. I feel somebody is laser focused on balancing the scales and bringing justice back into a, into a connection, and the yin and the yang. So there is a lot balancing out, and you know, yin and yang to me is a deep spiritual connection. I do feel a realignment in the energies today, so get ready because there is a soulmate connection here that is playing out one that is going to be able to stand the test of time, built on love. So I think somebody's getting ready to reach out with a message um, and to kind of close out a cycle with some third-party energy. So let's get a couple more messages when it comes to this reading today and see what else needs to come through with the Crystal Stone deck. Okay, Pyrite. Oh, I love Pyrite. So I do feel somebody here working on calling back their core power, um, really nurturing themselves and getting aligned um, in a solid structure for their life. I think somebody was facing a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of lethargy in the energies. Um, and I do feel a masculine energy that really needs to be honest in order to kind of take back his solar plexus, take back his power. So I think get ready because um, there's romance in the air is what I feel. And I do feel kids were affected. Kids are coming up with this energy. So I do feel a masculine that really got sucked into some um, shrouded dark matter. And he's really needing to call back his personal power to really sharpen his focus with the fluorite. So I do feel... Um, Somebody got distracted and somebody lost their vision and they're really needing to find the courage to stick to creating that balance. I feel somebody here was constantly tempted and it really led them down the wrong pathway and somebody here needs to kind of take, take back their power to restore their concentration because this is a connection of a lifetime and I do believe this is stemming around somebody's calling here on earth. So expand your consciousness is what's coming through. So a lot of expansion in the energy. I think this is a healing connection. I also feel some psychic abilities um, when it comes to this King and Queen of Cups, perhaps even a telepathic connection, a supernatural connection when it comes to communication. So I feel 
yeah, there's a lot of messages going to be coming in very, very soon. It's going to bring a lot of therapy back into this connection. So, and, and I feel somebody was afraid to come forward with that spoken word. And the time is now to kind of speak that truth, to expand um, somebody's consciousness and kind of just step into the mysterious energy of this eternal connection is what's coming through. So I think somebody's getting ready to soften their heart. I do feel a, an an energy of prolonged grieving and uh, needing to kind of transmute this this major loss. I feel there is a karmic relationship expiring in the energies, especially with that tower. It's just outdated. It was it was based on you know um, selfish energies, and I feel somebody's getting ready to bring it back into the chest, to bring it back into the heart. Um, and to go towards um, this loyal heart energy. I feel somebody's heart has deeply hurt from a poor decision in the past. And I do feel somebody really is wanting to rush in, Leo energy possibly, wanting to rush in to, you know, heal the past. Um, to heal the past and start over in love again. Because I think somebody really wants that powerful connection to be restored in the energies and somebody's kind of getting ready to buckle up their belt and take that first step towards this energy i feel awakening um and i feel the energy really is conducive of creating a sense of balance in the in the energies breaking through these negative thought patterns and um re-energizing a connection after a major loss so that's the message that i got today guys i hope this resonated if it did and you'd like to book a personal reading, feel free to check out the description box below. There you will find my email contact as well as the link to my Facebook. Head on over to Facebook. You will find um, the live weekly forecast for the twins for the week ahead over on Facebook. I did that earlier this morning over there. I, I opted for Facebook um, for that one. So feel free to go and check that out if you haven't done that already. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time.